what's up everyone this is Ryuka here and this is me giving my impressions and thoughts of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta now I played both the PlayStation 4 version which you're seeing here and the Xbox one version and I noticed no difference between the two um, they're both pretty much the same I didn't see any dramatic differences between the two um, but besides that Let's talk about what's new with Call of Duty. And as you can see here, they added something called specialists, which you could choose different specialists, which is pretty much like different classes. And each one does a certain thing. They all, each one does a, has his own perk pretty much and what they specialize in. And the one that I picked, for instance, has an overdrive and I'm just gonna call the weapons he has in his hand spikes. Basically what that does is when he hits the ground, it does a shockwave and it'll kill the enemy surrounding him. Overdrive just gives you a boost of speed so then you can get to point A to point B as quickly as possible. Now, besides that, you also have the return of score streaks. What's a Call of Duty game without score streaks? And there's quite a lot actually um, in Black Ops 3. At least you get a little idea of how many are in there but there's one in the bottom that's a blank box so they're not really showing what it is um, I'm hoping that's a nuclear drop <laughs> like in Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2 was the only one that I remember that had a nuclear drop but um could be anything so but the one next to that one is Mothership I found that name to be funny because it's like a reference to UFOs the Mothership but besides that, you also have the return of many weapons, such as, I mean, for primary anyway, you got the return of assault rifles, shotguns, like machine guns, sniper rifles. Um, there's just a lot of weapons there for your primary. Then on your secondary, you have your launchers, your regular handguns, and then your special weapons. And as I'm showing here, um, yeah, your pistols, special weapons and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure as you progress through the game, you unlock skins for these weapons, depending with certain tasks that you have to complete in order to um, get these skins for these weapons. And they also bring the return of emblems. You could make your own emblem and do a lot of unique things with those emblems. But besides that, so you can play many different modes in the beta. Um, and as the beta went on for the past couple of days, they gave access to more modes for the player to enjoy and toy with. Um, so some modes make a return, some are new. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, a lot of stuff when the game releases in November. But I'm going to talk about the multiplayer now because I want to get to that and how it feels. So being that I played both versions, like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't really notice any noticeable differences between the two, because to me there wasn't. But um, the one thing I did notice is how the game anyway has taken from other games. I mean, most shooters share, you know, borrow from each other, as I say, and there's Call of Duty on um, Black Ops 3 is no different. It does borrow from other games, such as you have the wall running, for instance. That's something out of time fall. And then you have um, the running and sliding on the ground. And then you can also boost. And that's something right out of um, Call of Duty Ghost. The only difference in Call of Duty Ghost, you didn't have a boost. But here you have that boost. You can boost on by. So it's a little mixture of things here. And then you also have a double jump. So you could kind of hover a bit. And that's something that to me reminded me of Destiny. Where you could hover jump a bit. So, Black Ops 3 do, does borrow from other shooters or other games. Um, but then they take all these things and they make it unique to Black Ops. So it's, at the same time, though they're borrowing from other games, they made it unique enough and feel different enough for Black Ops 3. So it's, it's his own unique mechanic, pretty much. So as you can see here, I am wall running. <laughs> across but anyways um besides that the as for the shooting aspect and the controls they feel pretty spot on 
Um, if anything, they felt better than um, Black Ops 2 multiplayer. But then yet again, that could all change once the game officially comes out and people will have more time with it to exploit more things. And this is a beta, so you don't have enough time to really to, to explore these things and uh, find these ex exploits and, you know, whatnot. But I could tell you the camping has not gone away. So if you're hoping the camping has gone away in uh, Black Ops 3, I highly doubt it because I have encountered my first share of people sitting in corners and just shooting away. <laughs> and as you can see here, that little special bar meter on the side is where you do your special move, which is when you'll see later, uh, maybe in a couple of minutes, um, me playing the character, trying to do the special and then get shot down while I'm trying to do that. So yes, each character, like I said, has a special now, depending on what class you choose. So now I could get to what I wanted to see in the beta, but I knew I wasn't going to see in the beta, and that was um, seeing at least one chapter from the campaign. It would have been nice if they would have had less players experience a little bit of the campaign because campaign does have multiplayer now, and it would have been interesting to see how that functions in Black Ops 3, or at least have players play one chapter to get an idea of how it feels and what you go through in um, the first chapter and what can you mess with, like what are the items or weapons or what's in that storage room they show in the trailers that you could toy with. But then yet again, that might spoil a lot of things. So, I mean, it does sort of make sense why they didn't let players play, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Another thing that would have been interesting to see if they were to add that would have been the zombies mode. At least they would have had given a taste of it anyway, if they would have had, but they didn't because they weren't joking when they meant this was a multiplayer beta. So there was no zombies in this beta. Um, but it would have been nice if they were at least giving the player 15 minutes of zombies mode to get an idea of what is it about. But uh, I believe once this game releases in November, the biggest improvements are going to come from campaign and um, especially zombies. I, I think the biggest improvements are going to come from a zombie mode and how they reworked the whole thing. Um, especially being that they've said that there's going to be a campaign for zombies. So it makes me wonder if they're going to do a standalone campaign and then they're going to have the traditional zombies as a separate mode. Or is that all going to be in one thing? But only time will tell what um, Treyarch has up their sleeve before its launch. And what information they're going to release over time. Anyways, I felt that the beta was okay. Um, but... It just didn't appeal to me enough to want to say that this is exactly something I want to get right off the bat. We kicked some so, serious ass, guys. maybe my mind will change prior to its release come November. Anyways, this is Rayuki here saying, until next time everyone, sign on.